Welcome to your chance. I want to say hello to all the families out there all around the world, and this is your chance to call in to talk about anything that you want to talk about, no matter whatever we're talking about. So, introducing ourselves. Keisha. Tasha. Terry. Trina. And we want to say welcome to your chance. Um, we just celebrated a birthday yesterday, and it's Tasha's birthday who... We nicknamed Nunu. 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 Nunu birthday was yesterday. <laughs> right. Yay. Happy Congratulations birthday, and happy birthday. So you know she's still acting like a diva. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm diva. Right. <laughs> 23. Well, so I have something special that I need to say to uh, someone that uh, the Holy Spirit led me to say. And... This is going out to uh, Son of Man because I watch his show, and I want to say, who has ears, let him hear grace. So what it's saying is that, um, you know, I listen to Son of Man's show, and he be like, you know, challenging people to call in, and, uh, you know, and then I hear him, you know, talking about the wrath and this and that. But I want to just say that um, the Holy Spirit is not where confusion is. So I believe that's why people haven't been calling in or coming up to talk with you. Because if you don't give them a chance to speak and have a word to say, then what's the use of having a conversation? Because if you write all the time, you know, I mean, ain't nobody right on this earth all the time. And uh, Jesus is gone, but he left his Holy Spirit here in all of us. We all are little gods. So therefore, you know, I just want to speak out a few things for us. Like, you know, he talked about the wrath, you know, that if you don't follow him or if you don't come and talk to him, the wrath will be on you, you know. And I don't think nobody should be threatening anybody to uh, participate with them. And then I hear that uh, I was watching one time when he was speaking about uh, if anybody could prove me wrong, I'd take a gun and shoot myself, you know, in the head. I don't understand that. That's weird to me. You know, uh, why would somebody want to shoot their hair, hit, shoot their subject because somebody proved them wrong, you know? So the things that you are saying, you leading people wrong because God is a good God. He's a loving God. He's not an anger God. He's, he's, he don't go around, uh, challenging people, you know, he's all about miracles, you know, now when you do miracles, then I know you touch by the Lord, you know, and, uh, and I definitely just want to say too, that, uh, I know you say you Lord and you the son of man, but you're not Lord and you're not the son of man. There's only one God and that's Jesus and he left his Holy Spirit here with all of us, you know. So the only thing I would like to say to you is that uh, nobody is really going to talk to somebody because the Lord is not there when you around a bunch of confusion, you know. And then if you can't tell a person nothing, I don't believe anybody going to really listen to that, you know. And, um... And then I just wanted to say to uh, Mr. Farrakhan that um, we went to, the girls, we all went to one of your meetings. We didn't know what the meeting was all about, so, but when we got there, we found out what y'all call meetings is a church, you know, is like going to church, so that's what your meeting is all about, but we didn't know that. But we sat in there, and we listened patiently, and then so one of your one of your uh, members 
was preaching and he spoke about uh, that Farrakhan is Jesus. So, you know, I just want to say that Farrakhan is not Jesus. It was only one Jesus. And I want the world to know that. Because I'm not going to sit up here and listen to somebody say they Jesus. And I'm not saying Farrakhan said this. This is one of his members preached this. So, but I'm just going to say he is not Jesus. Now, we can get on with our topics. That's what the Holy Spirit led me to say. Because if I didn't say that, then I would be chastised by the Holy Spirit. And I'm not going to be uh, chastised because I know he's real. I know he's still doing miracles right now today. And he's a positive God. And only time negative come involved is when we take our, when he take his hands off of you. You know, now, some people need to repent. They sin, and it's just not, it's just not these groups. It's Catholics, too. You know, you have these... You have these Catholic churches out here, too. You know, they not right. You know, they molesting kids. Okay, we have a caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to your chance. Uh, good, good evening to all of y'all. And happy birthday to the young lady. It's her birthday. And you two look like twins. Who? You and the one that's sitting on the end and you waving your hand. Y'all look like oh. twins. <laughs> Y'all must be really close to each other. Because yeah. you just look alike. <laughs> that, that, you all look alike, though. Right. But you two, two look, um, look like twins. Who's the oldest? Oh, she's no, the no, oldest. No, she's talking about the ones who oh, look like twins. Oh, I'm the oldest. Okay. You're the oldest. Yes. No, I mean the oldest between the two. Yeah, yeah right. me, right. Oh, okay. Well, God bless all of y'all because, you know, y'all come up with some good come up with some good things on television, and I'm glad to see the young ladies and your mom with y'all because y'all really be speaking the truth about these things. And I'm Catholic, but <laughs> I don't uh, know about all this stuff y'all be talking about because I know there's only one God. And I don't go through all them changes with nobody about nothing. I try to help people and help children and help people in my community. But y'all keep up the good work because pe more people are listening to y'all now than they were when you first came on. We try to beat each other to the telephone so we could say hello to all four of you all. Okay. And your grandchildren that you had on before, those are the cutest little girls I've seen. And I would like for you to bring them back on there because they're really smart, too. Okay, thank you. And I appreciate y'all. And keep up the good work because y'all telling the people the truth. They didn't want to hear this, but you're telling the truth about what's going on with all these folks, all these godly folks, and all these people that just want money. Mm -hmm. So thank you for doing this today. Thank you. And you're I'll welcome. be calling y'all next week, too. Oh, okay. thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you hung up? I don't know. Welcome to... Oh, you hung up? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, um, I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes or anything like that, but, I mean, I'm not going to sit up here and listen to someone who... I mean, you speak the words, but you're not only speaking the words, but you're putting yourself into the words, and you don't put your, you don't add to the Bible. You don't add to no Bible at all, you know. So, uh, not trying to start nothing, or I just want to speak the truth. That's it. So, um, ladies. Okay, let's get into our first topic of the day, which is going to be stay focused. Don't let people stop you from your destiny. Wait, why you got the sweet mic? <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm me. You weren't even here last time. I, I don't, don't, I get don't the have sweet to be here. That just shows you just how special I am. See, that goes in with our topic. Don't knock my shine because what I'm supposed to have. And she I'm got the special have, chair. And that's the shine so and good. the special <laughs> chair. So, like I'm saying, don't let people knock your shine on your destiny, <laughs> Noonie. Don't, don't, don't hate on me. But let's get into the topic. What would y'all like to say? <laughs> this is Nunu, and this is Noonie. So, just in case. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what, what would y'all like to say about that? I forgot what it was. Um, what it was? Don't, um, I don't know. You was trying to steal my shine. Stay, stay focused. See, stay focused. Stay oh. focused. Oh, stay focused and don't let people stop from your destiny. Yeah, and <clears throat> that's almost go with what I was just talking about. We have to stay focused on everything. And, you know, even though 
people, you know, everybody out here have totally different minds of how they think things are. You know, I'm not saying what I'm saying is right, you know, and uh, I mean, I hope I'm right, <laughs> but I'm, I'm talking about everything that we say up here. I'm not saying, you know, we try to speak the truth and, and, and the right thing, but uh, it's a lot of people out here, you know, with what you're saying, they talk about it and... Um, like, my, like, for an example, like we're doing a TV show, it's a lot of people... Instagramming Jada or people comment on stuff, hate text, the negative stuff, but you can't let that stop you. You can't let that steal your shine. If anything, you need to take that and stride with that. That just shows you you're doing good because anytime somebody you're doing good, somebody always got something to say because if you wasn't doing good, they wouldn't say anything. So, you know what? No, they're going to say rather say something rather you're doing good or bad. Right. I mean, so that's regardless. Why you say I see. Focus and I seen on Keep one moving. of our uh, YouTube, one of the YouTube videos or something like that, I was looking at the comments and somebody was saying, you know what I'm saying, like, well, why are y'all on TV because ain't none of y'all natural and stuff. Y'all got all this weave in y'all head and y'all don't talk about the stuff that should be happening in this world. Like, they was going in on us on YouTube. So clearly Somebody they don't responded watch the and show. it was under my name. I don't, which one of y'all responded? I didn't, I didn't respond. even read the comments. I've been busy. I didn't see if you had to show y'all because I didn't respond. Me, I well, for, the, for the person who commented on that, for one, do your homework because everybody don't wear weave and whatever we're doing, we're doing something that's better in our life other than sitting at home watching reality shows. Obviously, you're watching our show as well. So, hoping you can learn something from the show and pay a little bit more attention because then you would know that we do talk about things. Right. And mm -hmm. see, and that's what we say about our, us, our race. We always challenging each other we always it's like we just can't come together and applaud each other i applaud reason why we on this tv now because i applaud everybody i see on tv and anybody that's doing something positive i'm happy about it and i'm like oh boy if i get a chance i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that you have to be happy for other people in order for things to come back your way if you be negative and mean ain't nothing gonna happen for you because you have to grow it's all about growing you growing you going to different levels different levels until you get there you know you're going to get knocked down and get back up and knocked down and get back up oh i don't i was supposed to have three te television shows years ago okay and i've been knocked out of it pushed aside or something to happen you know but I, it didn't stop me you know but I'm going to say but, we appreciate the good and the bad mm -hmm, feedback, yeah. whether it's good, whether it's bad. If it's good, we take that in. Mm -hmm, if it's bad, we take that in, too. Yeah. We know everybody is not going to be happy for us, but we, we listen and all that. That just shows that we're still doing our job because everybody's not going to like everything we're saying. And the fact that you're watching, that's the number one thing you're watching. So, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then on top of that, we wear, it's nothing wrong with wearing weave. You have men's wearing weave now. They wear toupees. <laughs> they wear weave. Little kids wear weave. We have kids wearing weave and adults wearing weave who have hair. It's just that you could wake up and you don't have to do your hair. There's you nothing wrong with you wearing weave. Wear. And, it's, and what's wrong with looking different sometimes? And then you talking about us, your mama and your cousin, somebody in your family is wearing weave. This woman, probably. I, did I say that? I'm sorry, but it was the truth. <laughs> but, uh, but we love them anyway, you know. So we we still appreciate that that yeah. comment that they put out on up there. Yeah, but you kind of strive for what you want. Some people, everybody yeah. gonna knock you down. You are gonna have negative critics all the time. You just take that and you should take the negative and say, oh. Shoot, I'm Learn about to prove them it. wrong. Right. Do the better. Right. Do better than what they, you know what they say. Right. Instead of knocking our show, you should have been asking, how can you get on to do a better show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. But we still appreciate you. <laughs> Any more negative comments that we get? Uh, I don't know. It's a lot of people that don't like us. Oh. So, no, just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to go. <laughs> Carly, you're on air. Welcome to your chance. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, I thought your uh, TV station had a policy where you don't talk about uh, other hosts on uh, on. Uh, what do you say? Can you speak, can you speak up a little bit, caller? Can you repeat I, that? I, I thought the TV uh, station had a policy where you don't speak against other TV hosts. Well, I Hello? really wasn't speaking against. He challenged people to. Uh, I, I know what he does. I watch the show. Huh? 
I know what he does. I watch his show. Okay, but yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't like, I'm trying to, like, I don't want, okay, if you leading people wrong, I'm going to say something, okay? I, the Holy Spirit spoke to me, so I said what I had to say. I know a lot okay. of people ain't going to like it. I know a lot of people is not going to like it, no, and no, a lot no, of people will understand. Hold on. Hold on. I, I didn't say I didn't like it, but R.J. Wack and had a policy that you don't talk about other hosts. You mentioned the son of man by name, mm -hmm. you could have just said uh, individuals who do thus and such are not being led by the Holy Spirit. You mentioned him by name. I know, and I that's, did. That, well, that's not part of the policy okay, but of the he mentioned, he mentioned He mentioned Farrakhan by name. I don't understand what you're saying. Farrakhan is a national I'm figure. He doesn't right. have a TV show. As such, on that, he's not the host of the TV show. Okay, we saying? understand. Okay. We understand. We 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 get what you're saying. Okay, thank you, thank, thank you. you, caller. Okay, so we're gonna get ready and go to a commercial break, and when we come back, Rick, we can still finish talking about the. Yeah, we can um, finish talking about what we're talking about, or you can call in and we can have a new topic. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Didn't I know right from wrong? Somebody tried to preach the gospel to me. I didn't listen. I fell down on my knees. I was just a foolish person at that time. A change in my soul that made me feel whole, oh baby. It took all my fears away. I have never felt nothing like that before. Please give me some more. When you have faith in yourself. Welcome back to your channel. Well, yeah, no. we, we have a caller. We're going to just take the call. Right. Caller, you're on the air. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Okay. Real good. You know, I appreciate your show when I'm home. I enjoy listening to your, your comments and people calling questions. But you have, you have not said anything. There's nothing wrong with speaking out anybody's name. Policy, as long as nobody calls in cussing and threatening enough people. That's what they're talking about, but no I'm in call and saying that you're going to vote for Comey Young Jr. like I'm going to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. I said that don't call in arguing and threatening other people, cussing at them and all that kind of stuff. You're yeah. doing a good job. Thank you. 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 Thank
different topic. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. That's why I was like, that's why I said I'm like the call kind of came right at the same time because I nobody is bashing anybody. Nobody is talking negative about him. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we supported him. We actually went to the events and everything. That's not what it was. That's nothing like that. We all a family. This is one family. This is WHPR. And we are a family regardless. And you know it's, a, it's an example of it shows how people just, you know, some people just take take things, take things because it's a certain, you know. Yeah, but right. that, but right. honestly, but you it can. says your views and your opinions is not the same as others. Right. I mean, so he I, has his opinions, we have our opinions, yeah. and that's just how it goes. It's not a you're wrong, you're absolutely wrong. You can't do, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, I like, actually like him. I actually listen to him when he preaching all of that and stuff. It's just that. When, uh, you know, well, anyway, all I want to do is say that, the, yeah, we're not going to go back there, but I just want to say that the scriptures, as far as the scriptures, the devil knows the scriptures too by heart. You know, the devils know how to preach the word. So, you know, all I, all I just wanted to relate is that, you know, just be a more positive. That's it. That's all I wanted to relate about it. You know. All right. All right. We got a caller. Caller, you're on there. Hello? Hello. Hi. Uh, yes, uh, I'm glad someone on this station brought out and said about the Son of Man. I despise when I hear him say that all Christian anity is garbage. That is so terrible. It, 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 if you don't follow him, you'll never get out of this world alive. <laughs> But it is, it, it's ridiculous that he should say something like that. And that's about all I got to say. But thank you for bringing it up. you welcome. Thank you <laughs> You're welcome. Thank, thank, you. thank you for calling. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, you got another caller? I don't know. I yeah, don't yeah. know. Okay, right. we, we have another caller. You're on air. Welcome to your chance. And can you just speak up a little louder, caller? Caller? Okay, I think that was the other one. No, Polly, you're on air. Welcome to your chance. If they trying to call in and it's not going through. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, oh now we can. Just can you just speak up a little louder? That's it. Yes. Sorry. Sorry to call call back, but the last call was just called about what kind of man said. My thing is, why don't we call his station when he invites them to talk to him on the station instead of criticizing? You don't have to agree with each other and all like that. Just uh, ask questions and get your answer and come up with your own knowledge of what it is, regardless of whether, whoever you support. But, you know, call in on his show. He gives you the opportunity to call. So if you don't call in this show, don't call in on somebody else's show and talk about somebody. Okay, but you, I'm gonna continue to say you're doing a good job. I like conversation. Like <laughs> okay, well we we're we, we we not trying to do you. that, but thank you though. Thank you, but just just to read real quick, she wasn't criticizing. She stately, basically said that she was stating what it says in the Bible and her point of view on it. So she wasn't criticizing. She was just speaking, which somewhat is some facts. And then when some when people do call into Son of Man. I noticed before they can even get two good words out, you know, he um, kind of like shut them down. But and we don't have to call it nobody's show. That's why we have our show because it's your chance, right? Call and our we show. give people a chance <laughs> to call our show to say whatever they want to say. You know, I mean, I'm quite sure they're gonna say something positive. You know, so. But we still appreciate you calling, and we appreciate your opinion as well. It makes the show go. All right. So. Yep. Yeah. Let's talk about. Surrogates. What are we talking about? Surrogates. And why people do it and what to expect. Surrogates. Alright, what y'all gotta say? Keep saying it like you explaining the word and the definition. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, My uh, thing on it. Serious. Uh, it's too crazy. Wow. No, I, I understand. Nope, it's it. too crazy. I, it, so, cause it, it, <laughs> it works for some people who can't have kids. So it do. I, I understand but yeah, it. But you have you have the the ifs, the 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 worries. Cause what if this 
carrying this child for you decide to keep the, the child then what that's why you got to do it the legal way you got to get the cool you know they got but I, thought that don't, I thought that don't matter if as long as they carrying it like at the end of the day they can still change their mind right. about mm-hmm. it because it's just no. like it's still growing in their belly it, that's, if they're, that's if it's their baby but if you're taking a woman's egg and the guy's sperm and that's actually their baby she's just the host so that's not her baby. She can't change her mind on that baby. But if it's her own baby and she's giving up for adoption, she can change her mind. All right, well, what about oh. the crazy ones who... <laughs> like, that's how why, you know they That's crazy. why you have to do your homework, but... But still, even though you do your homework... <laughs> like the girl on Baby still. Mama. Or uh, the when the barrel breaks. Oh, when the barrel breaks. <laughs> barrel breaks. Oh, barrel. Jesus. Which one was it? Bar- barrel? What is it? Barrel breaks? I know what you're talking about, though. I want to talk about it. <laughs> Well, this kind of go with the guys, you know, when they uh, give their sperm, when they donate their sperm and stuff, too. They can just go to the sperm bank and get a, oh, no. no that's that's, that's totally different. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm just saying, you know, if the man, if they can't find a man to, they just go get They the, just go to the sperm bank. And no, then, no, we didn't talk about the surrogate. Like, I know what y'all that's, talking that's, about, that's a woman carrying a baby. This a lady who can't carry the baby. carry the baby. has somebody else carry the baby. I went, okay, all these, I, I, I know what y'all are talking about, I know where y'all are going, but all these kids out here, we have a lot of kids out here that need homes, you know, you can adopt a baby, you can. You, this is true, but then you still want your own as well. But so you're that, still that's not having, having your own, though. It is, when they, when they take, it's two ways to do it. One way, if they actually take my egg and say my husband's sperm, and they create the baby, but they put it into the embryo, they put it into the host, the lady that's going to carry the baby, that's not her baby. That's my biological baby. That's our genes. That's not her. She's right. just the host. They put in her to carry the baby. Right. So think it's still weird. Cause it's, it's not her baby at all. It has nothing of hers. It would be mine. But she, so she still don't have the right to be like, yo, I can keep no, it. No, because it's not her baby. Her, her, her not body her baby. is changing. That's not so. You, you it's know, not her baby right. because it's, it's not my her baby. See, that's she why I can't. wouldn't be a surrogate because that's going to be my baby. No, see, that's but, when, like, they, when they you, get, when you they start, get paid to do that. Mm-hmm. But it's when you start feeling that emotion like, oh, it's a child it's growing in me. You get attached. But you and they can't get, get paid, attached they to the baby. So this is what I want to say. So when they have the baby in the hospital, do they not get to hold the baby? Do they do so the body, right. no, do they the body thing or they just constantly? They shouldn't. I mean, they, they supposed just to take the that baby, baby out mama. and take it away. That's what they supposed but to they do. They got paid to carry that baby, so it's not even theirs. And then some of them, <laughs> so, so them want to keep the baby and get paid and then have control and try to control the situation, you know. But they can't because it's not, no, it's not well, their genes. Them, it's not none of that. That's, that's, so y'all getting mixed up with the girls that have babies and then they're going to give them up for an adoption when they have the baby so when they carry the baby by the time it's time for them to get the baby up they don't want to because they don't get attached to their baby but when you're a surrogate and you're using their you know sperm and eggs that's not even your biological child period they're not related to you so do they have like in the papers to say like no i'm saying like when the child is born, do I still get to visit since I carried the baby? No, you got paid to do <laughs> the job. And you but, you, it. but you carrying this for nine months. I'm done. Like, I'm done. That's my thing. They the young. Big, uh, the, you, you carrying, you, you I feel just feel like you should be able to see your like baby. When you, when you, when you, when you I, I know, baby. I know it's not your baby, but I'm, I'm saying the you baby. partly the mama, you carried it. So the mama who about to get the baby can't say, I carried you for nine months. She'll be lying. That's related. what I'm here for. I carried you for nine months, so can I? Still and I had to go through the pain. You know what I'm saying? I can't get a visit, but you got paid. <laughs> I still can't get a visit. You got and paid you, lots and then of you money. You probably doing this for other people as well. That's your job. Right. I ain't right. doing it. Like, I can't do it. Some people just do that. So I don't you have think to have. You have to be in your heart to be a to not want no kids. Else, I can't. I do guess. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. The weight gain, the big yeah. belly, the cocaine. Kind of and then you gotta take you, off work. You playing with the baby while they kick in? Like. So let's say something positive right now. For those who are out here that cannot bear a child, we're going to pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, touch all their wounds and let them be able to carry a child in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Yeah. And to not get a crazy surrogate if you do. No, that. if if Jesus it, has one, it's going to be. That's the move. 
gonna be what? Nah, people crazy for real. Nah, Especially nowadays. Uh-uh. How you think they got the idea for the movie? <laughs> because they be true stories. Most of them be true stories. The movies they come out of. True you see stories. that? What? But I'm saying when you when you get an idea of a movie, like I just know. say if you do decide to go that route, please pray over your circuit. Pray over your family. Pray just over pray, your sperm. Period. Just pray over your egg. Everything. Cause you don't know what them people do at home when they go mm-hmm. home. Uh, they supposed to find out about it. Well, we know we talking about like, you know, I'm TV, baby. I watched the movie on TV. They had the surrogate girl moved in, moved in the house with the people. Right? That was the movie. Right. That's what I said. The movie. You said you was watching TV. <laughs> yeah, we gotta call it. <laughs> they don't go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I any, think anyway, she uh, wanted the man. You know, she figured she could have the man no, and get the woman out the way. All right, we gotta call it. Call Go ahead, Carly. Welcome to your chance. Hello. Did you push the wrong thing? Hello, caller. No, I think she pushed the wrong thing. Sorry, you could call back. Uh, I, I think, like, yeah, it is. It's a lot of kids that need homes. Need homes, and, right. A whole lot of I children. thought about it, oh, even. Remember, I ain't want to have no kids. I, I, mean, I thought to, about adoption, I wanted too. to just uh, strictly adopt. Right. I don't know how I, I got pregnant, but uh, we anyway, know. I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> I wanted to adopt. I don't. I don't know why, but I was very strongly about it. Mm-hmm. I really wanted to adopt. Yeah, you I did to for adopt. a long time, yeah. Like, if you adopt, would you adopt? Um, like, what's the age range? Like, would you want to adopt just a baby? Uh, they infant, gotta be able to go newborn. to the doctors. I mean, go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. They gotta be able to walk. <laughs> I don't want a newborn. <laughs> I want a toddler. I mean, you would I bond want, better with a newborn. I don't actually want to. Just like it's your baby, you know. Then I'm just being honest. I don't want to. I don't want to do it no more. Oh. I don't want to go no to the newborn you only it one time. I, that's why I don't want to do it no more. I, I don't don't definitely it. don't want to. If I could adopt, I would. I don't. I don't want to so, go. But would you do the newborn? No, I did two newborns. Right. So See? I would do. See? I would do the yeah the walking walk stage. stage. You got to be about train. three, four. Let's, let's answer yep, this call. Caller, you're on the air. Welcome to your chance. Yes, hi. I'm enjoying your program. Yes, thank you. 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 Right. Now, I'm a Christian lady. I'm a saved lady. And also, I want to say, quick part, go back to what I'm saying. St. John 931 says that he does not hear a sinner prayer, only prayer of repentance. So a lot of people talk about God. If you haven't repented of your sin, then he doesn't know you. Right. Now, I want to get that out to you. Read it for yourself now. St. Right. John 931, he says he does not hear a sinner prayer. Mm-hmm. So back to the son of man. I've never met him, only just seen him on TV. And some lady had called in, this was about four years ago, on uh, a broadcast on Saturday afternoon, and she said to, I want y'all to pray for me, she said, because I need a roof. I need a roof bag. So the host said, well, put your number out there. A lot of people listening, you know. So um, she put her number out there. And I called her that Monday because I do know people. Um, and uh, I called her that Monday, and she said she was 84 years old. Her husband was 80, was 79, he was going blind. And she told me that it had been raining in her bedroom for two years. And she was tired of putting out, pulling out buckets. And that lady, I talked to the lady, so, and I tried to ask her there should be some programs. She said, people will give me that, and I would call that number. They can't help me. They would give me a number. She said, lady, I got about 40 different numbers that I've called. Nobody can help me. So when she said this to me, she said, sometime I call so many numbers until I'm raining and sweating. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit really said this to me. Told me. I know I could. I said, but I tell you what. Don't call anybody else. Don't call no more. She said, what do you mean? I said, don't call anybody. You'll get a rule. Well, I knew I couldn't get it myself. But I knew I know God. I know you said. So we hung up. She said, praise God. I, I got me a pen and paper. I put my name down first, what I want to do. And I put down a whole lot of other people's names and what I want them to give. So now, I called her. I said, have you got any escalates on your roof? She said, yeah. What was the highest? The highest was like 8 or 
$4,000. What was the cheapest? Uh, $4,000. I said, give me his name and number. I called that guy. And he said, oh, yeah, I've been up there. He said, I can give her a very good room for $4,000. So I went, when I got to $3,000, what I went, I thought about son of man. I said, now I see him on TV with a lot of these men up on his roofs and things to the roof. I said, maybe I should have gotten an estimate from the son of man. So I called him in Mississippi and told him the story what I just told you. He said, you raised that much already? I said, yes, I have. He said, well, go on and tell the man to stop. I said, what are you talking about? He said, tell him to start. So the man gave that other money. And I'm just letting you know now. Mm -hmm. He's a man to his word. A lot of people, men call him and they talk, talk, talk. But I can say he's a man to his word. Yeah. I've never met him. I can say that. I'm mm -hmm. a, I've been a, a faith since I was, uh, what, 29 years old. You understand? Mm -hmm. Raised up in the Baptist church doing everything I wanted to do like everybody else was doing. But I visited a lady at Church of God when I was uh, 29, and I, I sat there for a while. I watched those people, and I thought they were different. And they laughed around me, and God saved me. So I know the difference being saved. I thank you for, for your introduction today, so I know who you are. And you're supposed to be brave and bold for who you know. You get my point? Thank you. So when the Holy Spirit leads you, guides you, directs you, he will direct you and protect you and defend you, too. Yes. Thank so you. keep on doing what you're doing. God bless you. I love you all so much. You are so beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Bubba. All right. We got to get Jada up here. Right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to another commercial. Take a real quick break just yeah. to... Just to bring someone up. <laughs> right, right. Need to repent all our sins. I've never felt nothing like that before. Please give me some more. I have never felt nothing like that before. Please give me some more. When you have faith. We have Jada. Hey. We have Miss, what's your name? Brandis. Brandis in the building. And we're going to just go ahead. What you what you been up to, Jada, since we haven't seen you in a minute? I've been modeling, so I've just been MIA. Okay, Brandis, what you been up to? Um, Having fun with my mom. What you been doing? Um, I've been, with, I've been um, over my friend house. Okay. And what you do Friday? The other day, yesterday. We went the to day the day before yesterday. We went to the movies. What y'all gonna see? Finding Dory. Okay. 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 Okay
Was oh. it nice? Was it good? Yeah. It was outside. Yeah. It was, it was something different, huh? Yeah. Okay, since both of y'all young, let's talk about what y'all think about that finger spinning toy. I'm not that young. I mean, but you, do you have one? No, I don't. I don't play with toys. I'll be on my phone all day. Do you have one of those? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. What you like about it? That it's colorful. It spins real fast. Okay, but you you ain't messing with that, Jaden. No. <laughs> well, cause I know grown people that had that. Right. Right. <laughs> cause I, be, I ain't even gonna lie. I play with hers all the time. She got like three. three? I got three spinners. So oh, she no. has three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jada, what what modeling things you got going on that's coming up that you would like to share with us? Uh, I was supposed to do a fashion show at at the Cobo Center. You are doing a fashion show? Yes. Okay, you said suppose. Oh yeah. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but that's this Saturday. All right, all right. So how you like the modeling? It's it's good. It's nice getting to meet new people. Don't have to deal with crazy people all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else you would like to share about it? No. Your experience, nothing. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, then, Brandis. Yes. What you would? What would you like to share with us since you on the show? Um, spinners. Anything different than spinners? Um, that spinners supposed to be for um. People who need them for HD. Well, what is it? Um, well, they were saying that the spinners are for like aut- autistic kids who yeah. can focus. So they use the spinners to focus but, on work and. But people be buying them so they can play with them. Right. So it it, it just blew off, took off where everybody using them now. Right. So. Okay. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Oh, well, for those that tuning in, this is my daughter, Brandis. <laughs> eight years old. She, yeah. Eight, yeah. Yep. yeah. <laughs> and this is my daughter, Jada, a.k.a. the model. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm the a.k.a. spinner girl. Oh, oh okay, God. okay, spinner girl, okay. spinner girl. So what, you, what do your summer consist of? What you going to be doing this summer? Um, uh, I'm gonna probably be uh, on my hoverboard, um, playing outside with my next door neighbors, <laughs> dancing or singing. Okay, Jada, what's been going on in your world other than the modeling? Talk to us. We missed you. Your right. fans have missed you on this show. Right. You I haven't been, been on the show. Already? I've been out of town. I've been out of town. Um, I got back. Just been high in my a. Where you go all the time? Oh, I went to Cleveland. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. You should, two days. You should have took me with you. Yeah, you should have took Brandis with you. Yeah. It was a last-minute thing, and I took my friend, so we just went. I had a photo shoot, so I just went, then came back. See, that? that's the stuff you want to hear. So how did the photo shoot go? It was <laughs> nice. And then I had another photo shoot that was here, that was downtown, for a little calendar. So then I'm like, okay. Okay, so you're doing big things out here. Right. So if y'all don't see her on the show, y'all know she off working somewhere. Modeling. Doing her thing. Doing her and then thing. I recently tried out for a fashion tour. So I'm here back like Monday or Tuesday if I did make it. So I'll be gone. If I do make I'm be gone for a year. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to like that. <laughs> but we're going to have to check that one out. <laughs> She's <laughs> <laughs> over here laughing. For it's gonna be weird not seeing y'all for a year. Oh um, wait, a year? A year? We we gonna have to check that out and make sure that's one hundred legit. Right. right. <laughs> Girl, that's a long be, time. A year. Right. I know. It's gonna be weird not seeing y'all. It will be weird all the summer. So, Brandis, I hear you got a trip coming up. You're going to car high. Yep. What's going down? What's going down? Uh, nothing. We just gonna have some fun. Go like how are we gonna see the concert? Concert. Right. What concert are you going to see? Right. That's a water park. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she said. Oh. <laughs> can you swim? Um. Yeah. No, you can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> well, be quiet. 
Okay. Okay. Where you learn how to swim? I can't swim. I can teach you. You oh, can't no. swim. <laughs> I can. Where you learn how to swim? Uh, when I went to the daddy. When I went with my daddy a, uh, a long time ago. And he taught you how to swim? No, I just learned on my own. How did you learn? I want to hear this story. Yeah, so we want to so hear. Can jump, you can swim without yeah. your feet touching. Float, go across. Girl, be no, quiet. I heard. I, I I put my feet up without drowning. And you could swim. Yeah. And your daddy taught you. Yeah. You just said you learned by yourself. Do you <laughs> know how to swim, Tasha? I don't know how to swim, Jaden. Oh no! Oh, I, I can know. teach y'all. I, I can teach y'all. I can swim. teach y'all how to um. I know go, how to swim. I, I can teach y'all how to go underwater by holding your yeah, breath in you, your nose. You, you well, we we us. know how to do that because the school taught me. <laughs> when we I was going to, to school, they school. taught us how to swim in middle school. That because when y'all started going to school, they yeah, stopped. Yeah, they stopped. That. Yeah, because right. now they got the class it again, right? But um, I know like Ferndale schools, they make you take swimming, but Oak Park, uh, uh, they ain't teach y'all in Oak Park. No, they. They claim they was too broke. They broke. Mm. We got a caller, y'all. Okay, <laughs> let's get to it. All Hello, right, caller. caller. You on the air? Yeah, how are you? Hello? Hello? Can you, can you, you? speak up a little louder, please? I'm t- yes, I'm trying to talk a little loud. I know. Oh, we need you to turn your radio uh, down, some caller. You're a black woman. And that's me. I tell you folks, pretty black woman. Turn your and TV down. Good. Can you turn your TV down a little bit? Yeah. Uh, Can you turn your TV okay. a little down? Okay, it's down enough now. Okay, we can <laughs> hear you. Go ahead, okay. caller. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Now, this is what I want to ask you, so pretty women. A lot of all you so pretty women, right? What phone number can I get today? <laughs> oh, the phone number you can get today is the number that we're going to flash across the screen, nobody. the number you just called. And I'm, I'm working on and I'm working on my one. Huh? I'm trying to have somebody for the one. Oh, you trying to find you someone for the winter time? <laughs> oh. I'm the one who's going to be the winner. Um, be quiet. Oh, what, 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 you, what are you doing for the summertime? Hello? Who'll be available then? What'd he say? I'm right here. We I, can't hear you we calling. We can't hear you. Can you, can you. Thank you for you, calling. Have a good one, okay? Oh, you, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. All so right. You have a best day. You, you too. too. Okay, he's working right. on that winter time, boo. All right. What? Was it the right time right now? Uh, sure show wasn't right. with, the, yeah, with the kids. With on. the kids. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what you saying, mother? <laughs> Nothing. Back on um the swimming. What were we talking about? That the swimming. swimming. Yes, mother. Why all right, let's let's get on. Let's stuff. start. Let's talk about something else. Brandis, what you what you got? Like what? So when you went to go see that movie, where were y'all? We was outside. It was like, Mama, um, took us. My my mama over here let us go cold outside. No, it, no, I did. Yes, I you had did. Y'all sweaters it, and was cold. it was still cold. It was still. I didn't. Cold. I didn't think it was gonna get, be that cold out. Did you enjoy yourself though? Yeah. Tell us a little something about this movie, Finding Dory. What was it about? It was about um when Finding Dory. She was a little person, and then she turned big, and then she lost to her parents. She was a little person. What was she? Uh, Isn't that the fish movie? Yeah. Oh, you saying you gotta tell us you like she was a fish? This has details. come from like Finding Nemo Part Two, something like that. We gotta, we gotta call her, y'all. Yeah. Hello, caller. You on the air? Yes. How you doing? How, how you doing? Good. Okay. Uh, how you doing? You doing all right? Yes. Okay, that was my uh, my uh, fiance just called y'all. He talking, you know, crazy with. But I just want to ask y'all a question. Is they gonna try to do anything by trying to get the jobs and everything down there for me? Because I am still looking for some. I do a housekeeper right now, but I need me something to do. Do y'all have any brochures or something I can set up, send out or what? You you can call the um the TV station and they'll give you some information. I didn't hear the question. 
Thank you, Thank caller. you for calling. That's all. That's it. All right. Okay, so go finish with, with finding Dory. Um, so I So she was a fish. Yeah. Okay. She was she couldn't find her parents, so um these uh fishes they would like orange and I think white Nemo. Nemo and, and um his dad No, Nemo is the Little kid. Oh, Nemo is the son. Okay, right. The right, dad, right, right. Um, the dad and the Nemo, uh, they was um helping helping Dora. um. Dory. Did you watch Dory. this movie, girl? Yeah, I watched this movie. <laughs> Did she see her parents at the end? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the the fish had um lost her parents. Lost her memory. So in during the the mission of finding her parents, she had to. She, she, she was slowly getting her memory back of remembering little bits of places and details about where she was at or whatever. She just slowly giving her, getting her memory back. That's how she find her parents. parents. All right, we're going to wrap this up. So we are going to wrap this up. Once again, we want to thank Jada, which is our part-time since so she's doing her model thing. We want to thank Brandis for coming out. Talking about her fidget spinner. And we want to let you all know that we will be back August 6th for some new episodes and some new topics. Mm -hmm. Bye, people.